Well, this was officially the worst damn week to ever take an L on an in-store registration, bro. Welcome back to the challenge, your host with the most, Tomboy Double, and you're currently watching Tomboy TV. You guessed it, we are back live, and unfortunately, I apologize, I do not have any natural light because the full droplets just came out about a few hours ago, and therefore, I can't actually film this video in the morning, so I do greatly apologize. I know the natural light be hitting in the morning like crazy, just can't happen for today because I do want to get this video out for you guys ASAP. Because of the fact the drop list is live right now. It is currently Tuesday at 8.30 p.m. on the Eastern Seaboard time. Ooh, I'm only at 3%, boys. That sounds like an issue. A very big issue we got to we gotta deal with. But as I said, it's 8.30. The drop list came out two hours ago. And this is a massive, absolutely massive and super, super lit drop list. Bro, and I took an L on in-store registration. It was, what happened is I was on processing. Everything was fine. I was going in. I, I had Google autofill. I did everything. Boom, boom, boom. Chem bang. And next thing I know, I tried clicking process and that shit grayed out. And you know when you get hit with that grayed out, it's fucked. So I took it out. So that won't be happening. But before I do begin this video of retail resale estimations, you know, welcome back. It's Supreme Week 3, SS19. I forgot to say that in the intro. It is Week 3. And yo, they dropped so much fire at the beginning of the season. My first Supreme order. I can't understand why, but they did. But you know, maybe that means the rest of the season is going to be trash or the rest of the season is going to be super lit that they just saved the super hype shit for the end of the season. So that's normally what they do. They normally put all the hype collabs at the end but now they're putting up stone island in week three week five supposedly box logo swarovski shit coming crazy but before as i said before i begin i do gotta say a few things but if you guys can notice this t-shirt right here uh this is actually from the cancer research society that i've been collecting money for for about the past week the money is actually due today as you guys are watching this wednesday uh for the 225 i may be putting up out about 120 dollars of my own to put into the fund so we raised almost 135 right now and i appreciate it so damn much you guys have no idea it's been helping us all out uh, me and my classmates are actually raising money if you guys don't know for one of the uh, another classmate of mine that passed away in the summer of 2018 uh this is the t-shirts we made in honor of them and then on the back it also does have my last name at 19 because that's when we graduating high school you know we finally out uh but yo if you guys could donate a dollar or two or anything i'd really really appreciate it and if you guys are one of the first people to do it i'll shout you guys on my instagram at hype underscore and j where if you guys are interested in joining the discord that was a perfect segue if you guys do want to join the free absolutely free discord to help you guys cook get early links how to cop guides label plugs eBay view bots, trivia bots, Shopify, I mean not Shopify, got me fucked up, Spotify, free membership, all that good shit, all that good stuff, you know what I'm saying, all you gotta do is send me a screenshot if you subscribe to this channel, hit that red box logo down below, and you guys are entered into the group, and I'm gonna send you the link, send it to Hype NJ, and boom, we cooking, and we gonna be succeeding this entire year, so I appreciate if you guys could do that, but as you guys know, I do be running through the drop list from least hype to most hype, and least resale to most resale, but one thing I greatly, greatly do got to mention as well is StockX. Sorry if I'm talking so fast. I know you guys don't enjoy the talking part of this video that much. So I do want to go through it quickly. But I felt like this was a pretty serious issue. So I did have to mention that. Uh, but yo, this StockX situation. All those people that be using StockX are killing easy resale, bro. The nurses were just at like five, almost 500. Now they're back down to under four. Please, why? Don't make this happen with the Stone Island collab. Even though it might not have some crazy resale, please do not be undercutting by dollar or two. That's not why I make these videos. And if you guys do do that, please just stop. Just please, please use common sense. You know, people will be paying the high if you guys just hold it up for the high. No need to go under. But, you know, I'm just a small guy out here. Nothing. In my word could mean less to you guys. I know money is important, but, you know, please, it's just common sense. And if you guys want that good luck, that good karma, I know one of the homies in my video I just posted yesterday or on Monday about the Stone Island collab was saying how much the freaking good luck actually helps. Yo, just subscribe and you guys got that good luck, that good karma, that good blessing. And also, I do state my opinions, as you guys know. So don't get butthurt over them. You know, I do come crazy at some pieces because I'm just so enthusiastic about them. But anyways, yo, that's it. We're about to head into this drop list from least hype to most hyped and least resell to most resell. I'm going to put the images right up over here. We got like 15, 20, almost 20 items. So the first thing we got is the Guadalupe SS shirt. And I'm pretty sure this was supposed to release a few weeks ago. It, last week, I'm almost certain, but it ended up not happening. So retail on that piece is $128, dropping in four different colorways, a green, a black, a cream, and, a and an orange, a brick. So I'm not going to talk much about it. Then we go on to this rope corduroy cam cap. And you know that corduroy be hitting this season as well. But that blue and the Sean's match made in heaven once again man these sean shit sean shoes i gotta say match with a lot of stuff especially hats a lot of stuff a lot of stuff and a lot of hats from supreme i gotta say i've been realizing that a lot as i be making these videos 
Sean, smart move on the colorways. But retail on that one is $54. Four different colorways, a blue, a peach, a black, and a brown. But the only colorway that has the red iconic box logo on it is the brown colorway, so keep that in mind. Then we go on to the plaid flannel shirt, retailing for $118, shopping in three different colorways, a pink and brown, a plaid with blue and green, and another bright ass green, whatever. It doesn't matter about the colorways because it's also going to be sitting on the site for a very long time, possibly even smalls. Smalls are definitely not worth it. But retail on this one is $118, and in euros, it's $99. For all my UK viewers out there, thank you guys for watching. That shit just means the world to me. All right, ladies and gents, I do apologize. I did have to get that uh, Supreme <coughs> Mofi that uh, all these items can be found for sale at Tommy's Taylor on Instagram. Just letting you know, I did have to charge the phone real quick. But we're back to the program. We First up, we got the AWOL football top. Awowel? Awowel, I guess? I, I don't know, man. 80% of the time, I have no idea what the fuck I'm talking about. It's a cotton blend jersey dropping in four different color, five different colorways. One of them will not be pictured, or they might be, because it's super hard to crop out the white. But we got the army green, the blue, the black, the orange, and the white. Another big brick, no branding at all, which is very key element. If you guys are new to the game, Supreme branding is one of the biggest issues and the biggest things that people get caught up on. It's very important for big branding, but also just because it has branding on it does not mean it's going to go for the crazy high, which is why you should be watching these videos because I, these are estimations, keep that in mind, but yo, I'm, it does work out almost all the time. Like on some non-cocky shit, it does work most of the time if you guys just listen. But next time we do go on to the details two-tone camp cap, essentially it is two-tone. It does have the colorway on the top. That that brim is fire though, bro. That like that that natural colorway, the brim, that shit hitting. It's a two tone, so there's six, five, six different colorways. That red on white, pff, beautiful once again. This hat might actually be worth it. I do see a lot more people than usual though rocking Supreme hats in the city when I'm walking around. That might be because supply is high, but that's also because yo people are not gonna rock shit they don't like. So there clearly has to be some people liking it. But once again, the retail is $48, not worth the resale. Then we go on to the Sequin, Sequin arc hooded sweatshirt. People will be hyping this shit up for some reason. I do not think it's going to be hyped at all. It's just, they've dropped very similar hoodies in the past. Not the exact font, but the same design with just branding on the hood. And nowhere else, just a plain ass hoodie. A lot of people don't fuck with that because it's very hard to see the actual branding. And if someone's paying over around $200 for a hoodie, they definitely want to know that it's Supreme or at least some type of brand that people fuck with and not just some regular shit you could find on amazon.com or alibaba for like literally five bucks it's just not worth it just very key element that will retail be 158 dollars but now we're gonna start actually hold on we're not gonna get into the club yet i do have one more piece i gotta talk about which is an absolute break the stack logo t 78 dollar retail bro it's an all cotton slub jersey but the branding is just so corny man i don't know it just looks mad, mad corny on the branding on the sleeves. On the front, it would have looked all right, but that they put on the sleeves and shit just looks mad lazy and mad corny. I don't have much else to say about it. It's dropping in six different colorways. Turquoise, navy, red, black, yellow, and white. Uh, I wouldn't go for any of them, to be honest. I don't fuck with any of them, even for the personal. But once again, that is just my opinion. Don't want to be a dickhead or a douchebag. Just know, it's just my opinion. That's what I think. But next, we go on to the Stone Island collab. I do got to bring it up, man, because this Stone Island collab is somewhat garbage and somewhat good. I like. I kind of take it like the presidential election. And a half hours later. Actually, I have no idea how that correlates to the presidential election. I was just trying to make a reference out here. I tried getting into it, but ended up not working out. But anyways, dude, I'm going to get back to it. The first piece that I had, think is absolutely garbage and atrociously disgusting is the Supreme Silk Light Pants. As I said in my preview of this collab, what the fuck were y'all thinking, bro? This re this will be retailing for 308 pounds and $318. Three different colorways, turquoise, red, and black. Water and wind-resistant lightweight nylon tee laminated. You wanted some laminated silk, bro, with glossy poly polyurethane coating and garment dyed. Even though it's Stone Island, even though it's Supreme, the hype beast in some of you may say it's a cop, but please, it is definitely not. Resale will be very, very minimal, maybe for a small and a black, but even that, I completely doubt that's going to be worth anything. I realistically do see these going for sale in store for Supreme, but you know, that's just my opinion. And if we see that happening down the road, just know I could have called it because this material is just not it, man. Now we go on to the other part of the collab, which is a six panel of the same exact material. This is the Silk Light six panel, uh, same exact material and garments used to actually make this hat. Except this time it does have that patch on the front dome, uh, but it does not actually have 
have Supreme within the compass. So that's also one of the reasons why it'll be not doing well. Even though the Supreme branding would have been very, very minimal. The only one is on the back of the cam cap, which makes it not that highly anticipated or wanted. But next part of the Silk Light co collection that they'd be collaborating on is the jacket. Now this jacket is also, oh man, why? I know I said last time I previewed that it was like fox fur. It's actually polar fleece liner jacket detachable using Stone Island copyrighted tie system. I guess it's copyrighted. They invented the tie system. And once again, I have no idea what they'd be talking about. But they got three different colorways, a turquoise, red, and black. Black would be ideal to go for, but retail... <laughs> Retail on this bitch is $998, bro. In pounds, it is $768. Why? Another, this this is the same retail as that puffy jacket that released uh, an SS17, that puffy one with the roses all over it, which was somewhat decent. Now they're charging the same price on this one. Hell no, please do not wait, risk going for this. I mean, maybe a small, because, okay, I do gotta say though, supply will be minimal. Supply is not gonna be that amazing because Stone Island collabs, most of the time are very small in uh, supply. And also that's because retails will be high. Once retails are high, Supreme knows it's not going to draw that many people into the items. So therefore, they're not going to make as many. They try not to fill as much demand as most people would think. They don't try to fill it at all. But that's actually, that's kind of common sense because that's why people be paying the premium for this. But next, we go on to the chest stripe logo SS top $88 retail. A few different colorways coming down. We got the green, the white, the yellow, the black, the red, and the baby ass blue. Only branding is on the front once again. It does have a, a technically a box logo, but it just has literally a rectangle going all the way around. I guess you call it a stripe, not much of a rectangle. The Supreme branding in the center. Retail on this bitch will be uh, $88, and the actual material will be a cotton thermal mesh, which doesn't sound that fire, at least from what I can think. But yo, yo, next up we got the freaking supreme msn hand painted porcelain cupid figurine man dude i thought they were saving this for the end of the season and the sword on the collab but now they bring bringing this to the front i have no idea what supreme be doing but this is handmade hand painted porcelain figurine made in germany exclusively for supreme sizing is very important it's six by six point five by eleven Yo, this shit is sick. Ah, oh, I wish I had the money for this. Dude, supply will also be small in this one because this is made with the company Messine. I'm probably butchering the shit out of that name, but they are known for having that very limited, the dolls, the, I shouldn't call them dolls. I probably offended some people right there, but the figurines that they actually be making is very limited in itself. They'd be reselling for eBay by themselves and without any Supreme branding. So imagine one with the Supreme box logo t-shirt on just freaking, I think that's stabbing a heart though, man. Why are they stabbing a heart? Retail on that, as I said, is going to be around $4,000. Same in the pounds. Uh, yo, if you guys want to go for this, I mean, uh, Yo, if you got the money for this, good shit for you, man. You're doing something right out there. Uh, will it be worth it? I think so in the long term, but up front, I don't think you're going to be able to find that many customers. Because the key thing in also reselling is you got to find the customers for it, which is tough to do on such a high retailing item. Next, we go on to the Wolf Fleece Jacket. Three different colorways, an orange, a blue, and a black. Yo, if you can cop a small on this, definitely send it. I'm telling you right, right now, definitely try to go for a small on this if you can. If not, then go for an XO. I think an XO would also be the shit because as I said in my preview of the season, this is shit that the dude at the corner of 7-Eleven or corner of some weird-ass bodega be sending dropping tabs and shit and like, yo... It's exactly what I found at Thrift, too, in one of my previous Thrift, ep thrift episodes. I found a t-shirt very similar to this. Oh, it's polar fleece with a jacquard graphic, full zip closure, and zip pockets at lower front. Retail on this one will be $198, which is not too bad for a fleece. And Risa, I do see, like, a small 500 plus. Uh, I do kind of think of it being as, like, this jacket right here, the NY Reversible, mainly because there's so much other shit going down this week. Not a lot of people are going to see this one. But it's going to be a low-key sleeper on some people's part. Not all, but some people will choose to sleep on it. Next, we'll be going to one of the last lookbook pieces in this video, which is the Crown Air Freshener, which I also is a definite cop for me. I definitely want this piece for my actual car. And that 2001 Honda Accord, you know I'm pulling up with that Supreme Air Freshener. The Crown one, this is one of the first items to also leak. Retail is $38. Not going to be crazy, like $50 resale. It's more of a personal cop. It's also a very fire personal cop in my eyes. Uh, and then that leads us to the warm-up crew neck, which is paying homage once again to another vintage design. Uh, if you guys remember, they dropped these in, hmm, let's go back into my textbook. I think 98, I want to say 2001, somewhere around that era. But yo, a bunch of colorways coming down. I do expect this to be like the Apple hoodie, 
not a lot of people like to be interested in the old retro designs mainly because a lot of the new people who are buying supreme are also a different type of people who don't really care about older shit i should say but more they just want the more recent stuff and they don't really care they just care more about branding which is ideal which i understand as well but they do got the everlast logo dropping in a few different colorways a black orange gray navy red and green retail on this one will be 138 dollars as i said which is not that bad for crew neck i'm gonna be going for one of these definitely for sure maybe heather gray or black to play it safe but I don't see, I see these going for around $200 ish, which is not a crazy amount of resale. Smalls will be going up like a lot, but the rest of the sizes I'll kind of stay away from. Uh, but now we go on to a few of the accessories from the Stone Island collaboration, which is first of all, we got the backpack, which is rumored to be a, a Supreme exclusive. So if you guys don't know, so the Stone Island collaboration will also be dropping on Stone Island site. Oh, in the UK, and I want to say the US as well. I'm, I'm almost certain it's only UK because Stone Island is a UK brand. Oh, so that's why I'm thinking it's only going to be on that side of the pond. So shout out to my UK boys if you got it. DM me, yo, if you're trying to trying to proxy me some shit. Hopefully it'll be available for the US too, but I'll be updating you guys on that via my Instagram if you guys want to know. Uh, but then we go on to the backpack. As I said, $298 retail. I actually like this to go for $500 if it is truly a Supreme exclusive, and this will be limited, bro. I do expect this to be very limited as well. It's a backpack. Normally Supreme doesn't make many of them during collaboration times, especially like, say, the North Face shit. Even though they're going to be going for that much, for the North Face one, this one though I do see it going for a lot, even though it is just a sack with two straps. But then that leads us to the next item, which is the boonie, which is something I will definitely be trying to go for, mainly because it is the cheapest item out of this entire collaboration. And I'm honestly just trying to cop some piece and the orange one. Also, but it's not only just because I'm trying to cop something, but it's also because I do like this boonie. It's a bucket hat. In my terms, I call it a bucket hat. Uh, two different colors, an orange and a black. Resale won't be that much because it's just not a highly anticipated item, but ayo, hey, it's definitely a fire personal cop. Then that brings us to more of the camo stuff. So first we got the cargo pants, 298 euros. I wish that was dollars. $348. Uh, yo, these would have been a cop if they were cheap, if they're more around Supreme retail prices, but they're more at Stone Island retail prices. So that means it's literally $340 for a pair of pants that you definitely don't need. It's definitely a want. All oh, most of the shit is a want. Resale will not be that high on this one. Even though pants are very hyped, it's just the fact that retail is already way too high for there to be room for much profit. Then that brings us to the military cargo vest. I shouldn't say military, it's just a cargo vest. Uh, 378 pounds, 398 US dollars. Once again, this would have been, as I post on my Twitter, if you guys don't know, this was actually part of my top three picks uh, as soon as I saw the collaboration. But once I saw this re retail price, man, I was like, fuck no. Fuck no, baby. <laughs> <laughs> it's water resistant brush cotton canvas with printed pattern and pigment over dye. This shit would have been fire if it was more like around $200, $250. Instead, they decided to come crazy with the price. And there is also branding on the back of the actual vest, which is embroidered, which is my favorite thing about this collection. As I previously stated, their embroidery just makes it go crazy. Uh, then we also go on to the camo jacket. 608 pounds for their other retail for euros. Shit, I don't even know anymore, bro. I can't even read these currencies. But we do got two different colorways. Patch on the left arm sleeve. Definitely not worth this one either because of the fact the high retail price, once again, but if the branding was big, yo, if the branding was big, it would definitely make sense to pay the retail price, but it's just not. It's just not how it's working for this collaboration. Therefore, I would also stay away from this piece. It was around like $400. Might have been a send, but now it's just a no-go for me. Uh, then we go on to the overdyed stuff. I, I was what I like to call it, but we do got the sweat shorts. Three different colorways, a black, a maroon, and a yellow. And I remember somebody was saying, yo, how do you not like the yellow? It's the stone island color. I just don't like the mustard colorway that much. I don't see myself rocking it. Just because it's an iconic color doesn't mean it's something I would like to rock on the personal. But this is all cotton with garment dye and dust color treatment. As I said, three different colors. Retail on this one, though. Hold up, hold up. We got to pull this up. It is 198 pounds and 228 dollars, which realistically is $100 more than Supreme shorts normally go for a little less actually. So this is one of the tees. Um, this is one of the pieces that make more sense retail wise, but resale won't be there that much either because it's just way too much. And it's not even summer season yet, but if you guys want to buy this and hold it for the summer, I'd kind of agree with that as well, but I don't expect much profit to be made. Oh, but then that brings us to the pocket tee, 108 pounds. All right, yo, we're going to head right back into it. I do apologize. Once again, I did run out of memory space. You know, I just, these videos do becoming lengthy. I do apologize also for the long intro. Pocket tee, as I said, is $128 and 108 euros. Pocket tee, three different colorways, black, maroon, and yellow. All kind of garment dye and dust color treatment. Branding is very, very small. And if I remember, it is on the pocket, very faintly seen. But 
to be honest, I might be willing to pull the trigger on the black one just because it is also pretty cheap. And, you know, I do got to pull off a fit with one of these pieces, man. I do got to cop something, man, for the gram. If you guys don't know, I, Thomas Virgo. I'm going to say it real quick. I don't want to promote myself that much anymore. But, yo, next we'll move on to the hooded sweatshirt. Uh, $328 and 288 euros or pounds all cotton with garment dye and dust color treatment and the only logo on this one is actually on the left and the center so this the mustard though the mustard colorway you can see the branding pretty nice so i'm thinking that's gonna be the most hyped colorway and size small mustard hooded sweatshirt you're cooking on that one as well uh so i expect these to go to approximately 500 but only in the small colorway the rest of them maybe around 400 dollar ish pocket tees i expect to go to 150 camo jackets no resale sweat shorts uh, I'd expect to go to around 270, 280, not that much over. And that's about it for the rest of this video, guys, because I've run down the full list, talked about everything pretty much. Top items I'm going to be going for is Everlast, Air Freshener. Oh, no NBA collab, by the way, no headbands, nothing like that. Uh, vest, no go. I, shit, man, I wish I could go for it, but I can't. We got Everlast, we got the Air Freshener, we got the uh, possibly the t-shirt and possibly the bucket hat. So, I'm going to catch you guys with the live cop on Thursday. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to comment, like, subscribe. You know what the deal is. Thank you guys for watching. Have a blessed night if you guys are watching this at night because that's when I'll be editing and making this video. So, have a good one, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.